folks in the interwebs. We're going to play Wild RP today. <clears throat> oh, look. Yeah, that would be low. How about now? Apparently, if I mess with the setting on my microphone on other scenes, it also messes with this one. Is that better, Mason? <laughs> Maybe like there? Um, pay attention to when other people talk to me. Um, so the way this game works is we have our characters running around, but we're using a plugin called TeamSpeak, or I guess a an application called TeamSpeak, um, which everybody else in the world um, also uses that is a player. So communication with players will actually get rooted through that rather than through the actual game so hopefully that's captured I'm pretty sure it is but I'm just you know just checking um, so I think I can turn that up with the actual game as well but we'll just have to make sure of that fact this is Robert Norton Moody or well at least his hat we're gonna be playing him today bro you wanna look at the camera or <laughs> Apparently not. Normally he'd just sit here and like stare at me. There we go. And he promptly looks away again. <laughs> Classic. So, I'm going to be using a specific overlay for this game. Um, it's just going to hide a lot of the random in-game stuff. Make it actually look more cinematic for folks. That looks like this. And we're gonna go ahead and wander around. Check out our telegrams and so forth. Ranch heading now to Rhodes. I think the plan is just to hang out in Rhodes. I had a bad ish um, interaction a few days ago where I had bought a Lancaster repeater and got it stolen off of me by some fellows. That's, I think, less likely to happen in a town. So, oh, we are going to take a ride on old Gwaine here, <clears throat> and um, spend some time in Rhodes. At least 
place until we hear from the doctor. And she tells us to go somewhere else. Which is the plan. I sent her a telegram earlier today. We shall see how that goes. Of course, it is nighttime. It seems to rain a lot in the crossing. I don't know if that's a purposeful decision or a setting left over from Red Dead, but don't be surprised if there is lots of lightning and such. So this game can be interesting. You can ride around for five, six hours and see folks, but nobody ever stops to talk to you except for the random townspeople that go past. That's what we call NPCs, uh, locals or townspeople. Um, you're technically supposed to reply to them. Um, if there's nobody around, oftentimes I will just let it go because I don't feel like pushing caps lock in order to do my push to talk with them. Um, but it is common for people to come racing past you. So you can play four or five hours and never interact with a real person, but then have chock full days. Yep, people coming up behind me. Howdy. Howdy. Whoa. How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. Is it? Is it pretty good? Well, I mean, I assume I so. Fella? I just just woke up myself. Uh, Robert Norton Moody is the name. Mr. What do you do Moody. For, what do you do for work, Mr. Moody? Uh, at the moment, mostly running deliveries and some farming and some hunting. Just whatever I can find. Oh, you a law-abiding man. Uh, yes, sir. What kind of delivery you like to do? Uh, depends what I can find. Uh, I once took about 40 teeth up to a uh, hut far north of here. Got attacked by a that cougar on the way back. <laughs> uh, it's the last time I'm doing that, let me tell you. <laughs> I laid on the mountainside for near two hours. There's a couple places. Uh, some uh, shops where they sell interest and stuff. Everything from Bibles to mystery tonics to teeth to tarot cards sometimes. I don't know. Depends what you're looking for. Interesting. They sold teeth up there. Yeah, there's one in Armadillo, and there's one over by Strawberry. There might be a third, but I don't know. Maybe in uh, San Denis. I don't, I don't wind up down that way much. Hmm. You've been in the crossing long, my friend. Uh, two-ish weeks, maybe. Not, not long at all. Oh, well, I'm zero. Thanks, zero. L, a let up. Nice to meet you, folks. I'm Panzer. Lovely to meet you. And you as well. Now, I can see that gun on your back. Which gun is that? Afraid it's just a cheap carbine. Some fellas the other day came and took a Lancaster repeater off of me. Carbine or carbine? Uh, carbine, I believe it's pronounced. But the uh, folks hmm. that took the Lancaster were the. Uh, what they call themselves, low-value cattlemen, low-rent cattlemen, something along those lines. <laughs> no, no, more than more rent. Interesting. An interesting name. Very, I thought so as well. Well, we're the outcasts. Ledger to meet you. You as well, sir. Uh, outcasts just from general society or by choice, or? Mm. I wish it was name. by choice. 
Due to you not having anything of value, you are free to go. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Mm, you have travel. yourself a lovely day, mate. There it is. Use well. Have a lovely day. Be careful. And didn't I just get done saying I have been robbed in this game randomly? <laughs> That's how it happens. <laughs> I'm just fortunate enough that the last group I was with stole the $350 repeater and I had to buy the $48 one as a replacement. <laughs> yeah, they they sort of take pity on new folks, kind of. Um, especially if they know that you're not a criminal. So, the other character that I have... Um, on that main screen, um, this guy by the name of Abdul Al Qadir. Uh, I call him the Egyptian because I get to use a fun voice. Um, I'm sort of intending him to eventually be some kind of a criminal, but at the moment, I'm just giving it, giving it some time. But I am. 100% gonna walk down to the sheriff's office and see if there's anybody around with a badge at the moment just to be like, hey, <laughs> there's some folks down the road. Uh, yep, there is somebody on the front porch right now. Pardon me, sir. Yeah, I, I intend to run down to the Telegram office to just uh, send this in the form of a tip as well. But uh, a group of three folks called themselves the Outcasts to stop me. Didn't take anything, but I just wanted you to know they're in the area just down the hill from Rhodes towards okay. Emerald Ranch. Uh, great. Uh, please send in a uh, tip with their description if you have it. I uh, will do uh, so. That way we have it written down. And then, uh, sure, sure. It'll be much appreciated. Glad you're okay. Yeah, absolutely. They said I was too broke to steal anything, which is uh, true, but... Cool. So we got Panther. Uh... Well, you do, the, you do that, Mason, and they'll shoot at you. <laughs> um... It was a Panther, and then... Like, El... Elvira, maybe? And then I, f I forgot the name of the first guy. And unfortunately, I didn't get a very good look at any of them. All right, so we got telegrams. Um, I don't have many contacts. I don't have... I've only been here since the 11th, so... Three weeks, not two. Um, but in order to send a tip, we just go here and say... Law. Um, and we're going to go this, oop, caps lock is my, um, uh, my push to talk button. So everything will get clicked on and off periodically. Um, Just the one I just got robbed? Uh, not not robbed. No, they said I uh, did not have anything of value, and passed okay. away. How many of them were there? Just three, sir. Two men and a woman. And what did they look like? Two men and women, Western clothing. Seemed to be. Yeah, I, I I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention to what they were wearing. Unfortunately, I just caught names. Mm -hmm. And where did they stop you at? Just over the road, uh, over the hill, on the way up into roads toward the uh, the butcher so that that road butcher. there heading towards the bank ah uh, north of town okay north yes. of town all right yes, sir okay all right what was your name uh robert norton moody robert norton moody all right 
Do you know how many horses there were? Did they each have a horse or? Just two. The woman was riding behind one of the men. One of the horses okay. was white, was white and orange, and the other I think was maybe a dark brown right. color. Thank you. I think we got him past the uh, telegram station, going towards the roadhouse. Lead the way, lead the way. On you. And there goes Law to try and catch him. <laughs> yes, that was a real person. I didn't get his name. He was not wearing a badge. At least the one that I could see. There were definitely two of them, but the other one I think was behind me. But as you can see, I can't really do anything while I'm writing a tip. But very interesting if we run into uh, Scarlet uh, Scarlet Rose plays is another uh, twitch um, streamer um, she's been doing this for a long time she plays a character named Zoe Winters um, who Moody has only actually met as Wait. Zoe and she wasn't wearing a badge so she is a lawman but Robert Norton Moody does not know that <laughs> So everybody in this game has a specific telegram address. That's what this BV616 is for me. Um, that is a law person next to me. Okay. Pardon. Howdy, howdy. Howdy. Three folks there. And we'll go out the front door. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of really cool things that they do in this server. Um, some of it is like you can leave notes all over the place. Um, people are frequently like buying um, various stuff, various things, uh, corn, potatoes, um, etc. This box is always sitting here. It's a donation box. Um, that's like take what you want um, if you have something to spare. And you can actually even look in it. Some people leave stuff. So yeah, there's arrows and food and smokes. Uh, all the horses. I think I, yeah, I left mine by the bank. Man, they are, law is in force tonight. That's, that's a good thing, I think. I just saw somebody run behind the church. So coming to Rhodes, I think, was maybe the right call, even though we got stopped on the way in. Yeah. So some of the ways you can usually tell people, so like the guy on the front porch there with his arm up, that's a local. The three people there in front of the gun shop are probably all players. Um, dude on the horse could be a local. I can't tell. Um, you can usually tell because the movements of the actual players are a little more erratic than the actual townsfolk. Um, but one cool thing in this game is they've like they've taken a number of the buildings and like customized them, so you can actually go inside pretty much all of them. Um, the general store here.
pretty sweet. Um, you can leave details and stuff. This one often has one about the floor being freshly swept, but I don't see one today. And we can look at the actual menu. So I got my stuff over here and then stuff you can buy here, like water canteens and so forth. Uh, they have a lot of random stuff that's not normally in the game, like cleavers. Um, and then some stuff that is, although it has a different effect. Um, that's a concertina. Interesting. Um, dollar coin. Gem cutter, I know, is worth a lot, but weighs a lot. Um, I, I don't even know anything about that part of the game yet, um, how to do anything with that. I'm still learning my way around. Hunting and deliveries and farming work seems to be some of the best way to kind of like um, make money relatively quickly in order to like get a horse and guns and so forth. But then you have to be careful not to be around people. Um, well, certain types of people will take those things off of you. So you just have to be careful. Uh -huh. We have the Rhodes Gunsmith, where you can customize your gun and buy new ones. Um, they've actually made not all things available at all locations, which is kind of fun. So you have to go to certain places to get certain weapons. Uh, the bank over there. Um, hotel here. So you can actually get a room that you can keep stuff in, which is cool. Um, and then we have the Sheriff's Department here on the left, the White House. And then the one next to it is... Uh, the doctor's office. I was in there for my... Oh, that's... Oh, he was not waiting on me. Okay. Uh, doctor's office is where I had my pre-surgery consultation. And then they actually have a stables back over here. So one of the cool things... Another neat thing, I should say. They have some UEI additions. So you can point at stuff pretty easily. As well as put your hands up. Hello, puppy. Oh, he keeps. Something fun is that dogs will occasionally like stop uh, carriages because they just wind up in the middle of the street, and the townspeople carriages won't try to run them over. They'll like stop, but uh, you could do that, Mason. Um, it's technically probably bad form. Like I would, I would rather like get robbed and lose something then just like disappear and blame it on connection issues or something because one of the things that like like if a, if a criminal is going to commit a criminal activity they're actually required by the rules of the server to like stay online for an hour to two hours just to make sure that any law response that's going to happen can happen um so i i sort of think similarly in that i'm playing a civilian most of what i'm actually doing is creating opportunities for medical RP, for law RP, for criminal RP, um, sometimes ranger RP. Uh, rangers basically exist to run around and uh, find people who have been injured and bring them back to, like, med. Come on, buddy. Nope, he's gone too far away. Uh, medical exists to heal people, whether it's like an actual injury or just a short-term thing. Uh, law exists for criminal stuff. So most of most law RP will be with criminals. Most criminal RP will be with law. That's not a hard and fast rule, though, because obviously people get injured in gunfights, and then you have criminals running into town, finding doctors, kidnapping them, stuff like that, and then law going and chasing them down. Um, so the kind of the last thing I really want to do is just disappear in the middle of an interaction with somebody. Um, I kind of think it's a little bit rude. Um, you know, it's it's akin to my my Pathfinder character, my D and D character is really low on hit points. Oh, I just remembered I have to go home. Uh, you know what I mean? It's a little a little bit of a strange thing to do. Um, this is the porch or the deck i forget which one they call it um it's a saloon it's the deck 
I always call it the porch because of the back porch on this thing, which is like massive, very nice and accessible from the outside. So there's actually like three or four ways you can actually get into this building. Um, most of which are not the front door. Oop. I wonder how that happened. I did not think I was that close to that window. <laughs> What's interesting is they never, if they had actually searched me, they would have found I carry medical supplies just to carry them. Um, I have food on me because uh, one of the things that this game, so they eliminated most of the stuff. Like there's no dead eye in this game, but um, <clears throat> your health and your stamina is still a thing. And then um, food and water is also a thing at least for your character not so much for your horse um <clears throat> but you kind of have to keep an eye on it which is why i keep stew around stew is pretty cheap um pretty cheap easy to find you can just get it from any saloon um and just a bowl of it will completely refill your um your food and drink meter which is sweet. I need to reload my gun. Which I assume is from when I shot a rabbit the other day. I forgot to do that. Um, so the UI, the overlay that I have at the moment is currently covering stuff. But you have a couple slots uh, for weapons. You have... Uh, Pistol slot, which I'm currently not actually carrying anything in because um, an important piece for Robert Moody is his um, his right arm has an old gunshot wound that has caused nerve damage. Howdy. Howdy. Somebody, How's it going? Actually playing poker. Oh, uh, just fine. Just fine. Narrowly avoided being robbed a little while ago and very happy for it. Oh, bloody hell. Sorry to hear that. Well, it's quite all right. They didn't take anything. <laughs> all right. Let me ask you your name. Oh, my name? My name is Robert Norton Moody. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Moody. I'm Marigold Valen, Senior Deputy. Marigold. Very nice to meet you, Senior Deputy. All right, there is a lot of law around tonight, and it is, <laughs> it is actually uh, quite encouraging. I was... I was around a few days ago and, and had a Lancaster repeater taken right off me. Didn't see a lawman for three hours. Um, Aye. There are times when we have lower numbers, days like this, where it's a lot of us. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, bloody hell, these cards. Not treating you well, I'm afraid? <sighs> There's five cards here. This is an actual person, Mason, before you... I'm at wonder. 17. He has a seven. Oof. Uh, I, I'm afraid I, I I almost would advise you to do that. I think being get taking a hit would not be uh, very wise. But I don't know. I haven't haven't played cards in a in a very long time. But I don't play too well. That would have been a half truth. I I play probably more <laughs> than most people do, but not every day. Safest way to avoid an addiction. That. Well, I will leave you to it. Nice to meet you again, Senior Deputy. Hey, pleasure to meet you as well. Most of the folks on the server are... Actually, all of the folks on the server are incredibly nice, very polite, etc. Uh, just some of them are inclined to rob you and take things from you. and <laughs> That's just how it is. <laughs> I was not expecting somebody to actually be sitting... You as well. Um. Oh, see there? Now we have a detail. The bouquet of wisdom and... What did that say? Texas something? Me... Oh, wisteria and Texas blue bonnets. Ah, these are nice flowers. The uh, details exist for a couple of reasons. You can role play with other people, just note them, etc. 
I don't actually know why I walked back here. Um, so a fair amount of what I'm planning on doing is wandering around roads. Uh, it might take a job. I don't want it to take too, too long because at some point here, um, Endangered Finley, who is the Twitch streamer that plays uh, Dr. Gray, uh, will hopefully be getting online and then will get in game and will send me a telegram um, so that I can actually go check that. I'm debating. Do you guys like do you like the the dark overlay or would you prefer just maybe the logo over the map cuz the map is pretty simplistic and doesn't actually show much. There's not really a reason to have that revealed. We'll go into the bank. We got our first person mode. Uh, you may notice if you've ever played Red Dead, there is no reticle. This is on purpose. It makes shootouts and such more cinematic and have more weight when you actually do hit. We'll show off my. This is my nice repeater. Oops. Uh, let me remember how to do this. Inspect it. There we go. This is my nice repeater, which I have customized myself. Um, there's some custom stuff that they've added, like this blued metal um, for the hammer and the lever, uh, as well as the rose gold for most of the rest of the repeater. Um... So I actually customized this in the game to sort of represent the uh, just a rifle that his um, his now deceased wife um, bought for him. Um, her name is Elise. That's why her name why it says from Elise with love. Um, you can customize all of the weapons. My knife is actually customized to. You can't see it very well here. I'll have to actually go to the gun store. It's actually really cool to see this many people online. I'm often... I think a lot of people are either UK-based and play either during the day or really late at night um, for, for Eastern time. Um, so... Or they're like West Coast folks, um, so that a lot of them are getting on at like 11 my time. Um, but there was actually like 130 some of like um, 170-ish. Actually got a message from Endangered Finley, which is awesome. It's just confirming that we are on. <laughs> if I gotta figure out a better way to actually do uh, switching back and forth and so forth. Um, do do do. So over here, 
We actually have the um, the knife customization stuff. So I named this after um, Carnwinnan is apparently a dagger that King Arthur supposedly carried. Um, and I have customized it a bit. So I have the metal of this is customized. I engraved it and made it blue. Um, and then also like changed the grip to this gray color wood. Um, and then I have this carbine. Carbine. I think it's technically carbine. Um, but it's spelled carbine, which is probably confusing for folks. Um, I just have the one that is typically the base version because the other one is expensive and apparently people will steal it off of you. Um, the guy that took it from me actually was like, have you ever killed a man? And I was like, no, not on purpose. He's like, what does that mean? <laughs> exactly what I meant. Not on, not on purpose. Oop. But I think he took that and was like, I'm going to kill people with this. Which is a shame. But it is what it is. I'm going to go back in here, get some food, and then I'm going to look at the jobs... I think the surgery is actually at eight. Um, we just need to confirm. Saint Denis, awesome. We. It's very interesting trying to um, coordinate something in game. Do quite well. How are you? I assume that's the guy at the piano that was talking. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Drop the bowl. Cool. Um, it's very interesting trying to coordinate something. <laughs> with somebody via Discord. Um, so we gotta go get the horse. Um, eating was important because they will probably ask me if I have eaten anything. Um... Dr. Gray actually asked Moody if he minded whether anyone else um, was there to help or observe, and he was like, no, 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 it's fine. That is the doctor. Oh, there's like four people. Oh, is that Huxley? That might be Huxley. I think that is Huxley. Cool. Good to see him up and about. Um, the, the guy on the front porch with the ponytail and the brown jacket who's kind of holding his hand in front of him um that's a deputy who i happen to know has been seriously injured a few times um the most recent time he was left in a coma so it's kind of cool to see him up and walking around um i've actually interacted with him briefly he basically rode up to me in Blackwater and was like, hey, clear off. Uh, there's a bank robbery going on and we don't need you involved. 
Uh, we are looking at the map. We're going to go to San Denis. Oh, I was going to look at the... Just kidding. I need to look at the board. I forgot. Um, so yeah, I don't know about San Denis, but in most other places, if there's a building, you can get into it, which is really cool. Um, this is a job board. They actually have things in the game that you can do, which is awesome. Um, like deliver mushrooms, some tobacco. Oh, I can do that uh, really easily. That's 125 bucks. Let's do it. That is a super easy 125. I don't believe we have. Oh, maybe it's not Huxley. I thought it was. So right now, we go to the tobacco farm, which is just over here. Mason, you still there? I'm just guessing. it is this way so one of the challenges is trying to learn my way around without a map the map function obviously works um, and it's pretty simple we're gonna get tobacco leaf Now it said five, so we're gonna take this. Come on. Um, it's this is part of why it's interesting that it's so valuable. Um, we are gonna go to the docks. I actually more or less, yeah, know where that's gonna be. Um, Oh, broke the fence. Not enough lead up time. So this big old monster of a horse is Gwaine. Um, I decided when I started I wanted to try and name uh, horses and guns and such off of uh, Arthurian legend because I grew up on that. My dad is a fan. I read The One Term Future King at one point when I was younger. But I also figure that stuff existed to some extent when uh, this would have been actually happening. This is set in 1903. Um, hence the naming of the knife after um, the, the knife that Arthur would have used. Interesting that there's just a horse there by himself. Um, That is Braithwaite Manor, obviously there to the left. Um, my fear is I'm going to pull up on this and it's going to be like, oh, that's the wrong type of tobacco. Because it says Indian tobacco, but I don't know. Unless that means I have to go all the way up to the, the village that's pretty far north to get tobacco there, which I could do. But not in not in ten minutes. Surgery is actually at eight, not eight thirty. Um, for some reason, I had eight thirty in my head. But. smoky over here it's a 
fun part about being introduced to this game uh, by the Twitch community is meeting, like, knowing of certain people who play and then running into their characters in the actual game. Um, it's a little bit intimidating, but some of it is pretty cool. But it also kind of gives you like a, a, a little window into how certain people do things. So I know there's one criminal that I would just like, yep, whatever you say, we're doing it your way, and then we'll see where the roleplay goes. Hey, it is right. Oh no, it's not. Wrong type. Cool, we are going to process this. I'm gonna craft five of it and then see if I can turn it in. And if I can't, then we know that it's the wrong thing. It's the wrong thing. Great. Cool. So we are probably gonna have to go uh, way the heck up here later on, which is fine. I've actually not been up there yet. So as long as we don't die on the way, by die, I just mean go down. Um, that'll be good. That explains why the uh, price on it is so high. 125 bucks just to bring tobacco to San Denis. That's cool. We are starting to get louder simply because it's San Denis. They have trains and stuff here. This is, this is what I'm used to in roads, is like there's nobody around anywhere. There is somebody in near the train station though. So they've overhauled certain areas. So there's, there's a butcher here. be a little further over actually I am not drunk are you sure uh, yeah the butcher stall is right here so you can sell like animals there um, further over this way they have like a marketplace with a bunch of different options but San Denis is kind of cool because there's like a barber shop and a saloon and a there's a whole theater that you can actually like walk into and look at uh, this is a Chinese restaurant right here. I've not actually tried to go inside. But that one... This one is actually a gun store. Uh, one of the places where you can actually get, like... Some of the more valuable guns. Um... So they have the bolt action rifle here, which is expensive because that can two tap somebody. Uh, Navy revolver is also pretty expensive. That can take people out pretty easily. Uh, arrows, bow, carbine, repeater, carbine, repeater, uh, revolvers. I haven't even let my character really like consider guns yet uh, in terms of handheld guns because. Uh, we have this twitch in the right pinky and ring finger. Um, that's just a permanent thing. Like if somebody were to inspect me, like um, that would actually show up. Um, so you can add details like, oh, it smells funny, it has bad breath, whatever. Um, somehow I don't think, yeah, it's not gonna open. It'd be cool if it would. Oh, there goes somebody. Which is the restaurant? I guess it's this. It's probably also can't go in. Yeah. Um, 
we got a church here. And the reason I actually stopped right where I did is... That's the medical office just there. Um, and I happen to know that uh, Endangered Finley uh, will be there when it is time. But I will actually have to go check telegrams because she technically never told Moody where the surgery was actually going to be. So he doesn't, he doesn't actually know. Bookseller. Yeah, so you got a bunch of random locals around. Um, here's a fun thing. I can change my outfit, uh, at least the component pieces of it, depending on what I feel like doing. Which is cool, because I don't need to be wearing gloves in the big city. But I would for ranching work. Oh, this is the bank. Part of why I want to do a criminal is because I want to learn all the, like, extra stuff. Like, how you, how you open these things. Because I assume that you can. I just don't know how. Um, I think that would be interesting to learn. Uh, bank robbery being a fairly significant portion of Red Dead. Um, new titles. Oh, that's right. They have like a book section here. Um, I have $400. This is because I was going to get a new horse. And then... My repeater got stolen. So, I have not decided what to do about that with the gun. Um, the bow is almost impossible to use, I discovered, um, because of the lack of reticle. It's really hard to aim. Um, everything is sort of like two inches to the right. Um, of the actual gun barrel if you're aiming a gun so it's even harder with just a bow hey, howdy Go to hell. man people in San Denis are not very polite to one another pianos, organs and So one of the interesting things that I sort of develop as a detail of this character, um, his now deceased wife helped him recover from his bullet wound. Um, she became a nurse. Uh, so he has kind of a natural bend toward medical stuff, um, which is sort of intentional. I think I'm going to make him uh, do a medical RP down the road as one of them because it's it'd be cool to be around and kind of always sort of have something to do. Um, oh look, toenails. I'm not doing that. The hut in the Grizzlies is scary. Oh, what? Eighty-five dollars in a toad? That's. I'm confused. I've never seen that. I've only ever seen money as the the reward. Eighty-five dollars and a toad. That's really interesting. What would you do with a toad? You just sell it? Oh, that is, that's Dr. Gray right now. <laughs> I can tell because she has the rifle with the blue wrap on it. Um, I remember from before. I don't want to just like walk up on her. Because it's sort of an in-character thing that she never actually told me that we would be here. I just have been to the San Denis Hospital once before. Um, I had a blood test here like a week or so ago. Um, they have a mechanic. Not really a mechanic. They have an RP thing in the game where if you want to be, you can take a blood test. 
um, in order to be added to a list of potential blood donors in case somebody gets really injured and they need to RP. Um, I need to check this. Telegram on. Those notifications should just permanently be on, but sometimes I think they go away. Um, and she definitely left, so... I'm going to assume she sent one. She did not. Or at least I don't have it yet. <laughs> well, we're going to walk to the hospital because... That's kind of where I assume it would be. She could be doing any number of things, actually. That might actually be her. Hmm, no, she's probably inside already. So she said something about a trainee coming along. That'll be interesting. I don't know who the trainee will be yet. Um, I know it's not Thomas Metal Bitch. Oh, hello. Thanks, Two Face Julie. Wait, is that Matthew? That'd be cool if that's Matthew. It's the right last name. Um, first name? Last? I don't know. Two Face Julie sounds like. Three names. Thank you for the follow, though. My name is Oh, I'm a Dr. Gray. I'm Howdy. Gray. Yes, indeed. Are you density? I'm doing all right. Doing all right. You feel okay? Your voice sounds a little scratchy. I don't know if that's oh, just me. That, um, Hang on, let me, uh, just me, I'm gonna take a cough drop in a second. <laughs> take a cough drop. The, uh, the excuses are amazing of just like, oh, let me figure this out. I'm a medic, Josie Fast. I just got promoted, uh, yesterday, but I'm gonna be assisting. Oh, congratulations, and, uh, nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, your name again? I missed it, I'm sorry. Uh, it's Josie Fast. Josie. Nice name, Josie. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, does it sound any, does it sound any better? Unfortunately, you sound roughly the same, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, Josie, would you mind getting him set up just in the room? And I will be mm -hmm. just a couple more minutes. I think they, I think they I'm usually keep this locked. Here. Yep, alright, sounds good. Uh, seated mm -hmm. in the chair, or? Uh, I'm going to assume yes. Man, stuff breaks all of the time. Uh, we're gonna sit with. And eh, we'll just do one. Um, they were actually mm -hmm. prepped for a surgery before, so. I guess um. Basic questions would be, have you had anything to drink in the past 24 hours? Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, sorry. Do you mean alcohol or do you mean... Uh, yeah, alcohol. Just regular? No, not alcohol. No, ma'am. Okay. Uh, that's good. So we're probably going to give you some pain medication. We, uh, we need to... We're going to say no gun. Uh, say that again, ma'am. Sorry, I said, um, that's good, because you're probably going to be giving you some pain medication. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I imagine those would not mix very well. They do not mix very well. That is correct. Uh, we want to take off the accessory. Yeah. 
Hmm. I hope Dr. Gray's feeling well. Mm-hmm. Matthew, I love you. I miss you. Legendary. Could you be uh, just a minor thing, hopefully? Yes, indeed. Uh, Matthew is a friend of mine from Northern Ireland. Super cool to see you, dude. Well, let's see you. <laughs> it's awfully brave of you to be, uh, I guess, uh, participating in experimental surgery. Well, the uh, the way she laid it out for me, either it uh, either it works, and I stay conscious while while she does it, or uh, I, I, the experimental part, uh, from what I understand, being. Um, the actual nerve blocker. Uh, either it works and I stay conscious, or it doesn't work, and she drugs me further and I don't stay conscious. <laughs> oh, all right. Either way, it's uh, in the pursuit of uh, medicinal scientific knowledge. My my uh, my now deceased wife was a nurse, so I have something of oh. an interest in this sort of field. It, you don't need to. Uh, she's it's it's been six years, so I've. Mm -hmm done about all the grieving uh, that I probably will. I can understand that. Still, uh, losing someone, it's, uh, it's it never gets easy. easier never as time easy. goes on, but you never really forget them, I guess. But it sounds like she was a great person. Yes, yes, she was. Took took me a while to come around. She chased me for uh, quite a few years, but uh, really, but it happened. Oh, yes. Actually, the uh, the bullet wound that I received originally that this surgery is hopefully to to fix um, mm -hmm. would have been probably twenty some years ago. Oh my goodness! 20, oh yes, I did see that. Quite quite a yeah. long while. Mm -hmm. uh, she actually had met me a bit prior to that and I I think became infatuated personally oh. between you and I. Uh, she was probably 12 oh. and I was maybe yeah. 16. Um, but uh, when when I got that bullet wound, she happened to be nearby and nursed me back to health. <laughs> so I yeah sort of sort of fell for her in that oh, that's process. So sweet. Yes, she's a, she was a hmm, fine woman, fine woman indeed. Yeah. Oh, hopefully today you can uh, resolve some of those issues that you're having. Don't I do hope so, is. I do hope so. Mm -hmm. Don't know what's taken Dr. Gray so long. Must be an awfully nice call. Yeah, the weather is so nice today. I was um I was riding my roads to uh to San Denis and I was just oh, you know, you can tell when summer's coming around when so, you know, it just you just had like the sun just feels good on your skin. I do, I do. It was uh, very nice earlier when I was at I was mm -hmm. actually out that way myself. I nearly got robbed, but fortunately I'm a little too broke <laughs> it oh. seems. But I, I, I will take it though. Yeah. Roads, roads at the time was crawling with lawmen, so it was very easy to report. And then, well, uh, we'll see what happens, I suppose. <laughs> very ballsy of them to uh, rob somebody in a town full of lawmen. Oh my goodness! I I found it very interesting myself. I I came over the hill from the from the north after just having been stopped and did mm -hmm. not even make it two steps into town before there were two or three deputies riding past. So oh, it was yes. very, mm -hmm. very quick, very quick indeed. But lovely day for it <laughs> to, to be stopped oh, at yes. all. But, mm -hmm. uh, so out of curiosity, uh, Mm -hmm. um, 
am a little interested potentially in the medical side of things myself. Uh, how long has it taken you to uh, get to this, get to the point uh, where you've been promoted to medic? Well, um, I started by, uh, I start, I did my things a little out of order. Um, I wasn't really sure if medical would be a good path for me because um, I'm, I, can, I grew up on a ranch and I have had a very basic education. Um, my mom homeschooled me. So I wanted to, uh, I did nice. the field medic training course first just to see how I liked it and mm -hmm. if it was something that I could think about pursuing. Um, and then uh, after that, um, I spoke to senior medic now, Dr. Fletcher, and uh, I sent in my application. Um, and, and so I was accepted into the training program, which, I mean, it's honestly wonderful that they accept people who don't really have medical expertise. It's just a, my training took a little bit because um, I didn't really know anything. Um, but uh, I also had to take some time off because um, my uncle got hurt and I had to help him out for a little bit. He ran into a fence on his horse. Um, I have I have yeah. done that myself. <laughs> yeah, he's he's older, so you know it's a it's it's not as easy as just kind of dusting yourself off and like you know just hoping it gets better. He did he was in bed for a couple of days. Sure, so. sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, so I, I think I took about like two or three weeks to finish my training. Hmm. So overall, it wasn't too bad, but I also really took my time. Sure, that is very interesting. I I met uh, Doctor Margot when I mm -hmm. pra practically when I first arrived in the crossing, actually, and he uh, he said something to, along the lines of they could always use more medical folks, and, and obviously my wife, having been a nurse. Um, it is of some interest, uh, at least where I'm concerned, <laughs> to help others and such. Yeah, I mean, I would say, um, you know, if you're not, uh, if you haven't done the field medic course yet, uh, you can try doing that and see how you like it. But yeah, we could always use more uh, more medical folks. That does sound, does sound fun. I, <laughs> I found it interesting. Uh, there was a day that I was riding about with a couple folks uh do you have you met uh medic white yes i have actually she is she, oh very nice sure she has a uh a half half sister i believe named phyllis uh who was actually on the train into the crossing with me uh maybe three weeks ago now oh, and um, she there was there was a day that she got hurt and then introduced me to a friend of hers, uh, Mr. Dante Malik, who's a very, very fine fellow. Um, and uh, she got injured again, and I happened to have medical supplies on me and was able to uh, help her out. But then uh, Mr. Malik got kicked by his horse that same day, and I just happened to be the <gasps> oh, fellow that goodness. knew how to bring people back around, I suppose. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, I mean, it, it sounds like a, it definitely something that will be right up your alley. It did, it did get me to thinking, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Mason, this is, this is so much about it, isn't it? It's great. I, um, I'm a staunch pacifist uh, myself. I don't want to hurt nobody, critters, nothing. Um, so I figured this is kind of the only way that I could really help people without having to pick up a gun. Oh, sure, sure, sure. No, it makes sense. I mean, well, I think there's only so much a law can really do to help folks anyway. Without harming, I mean. So, this is certainly one of the better directions to go, I think. But my, my, my injury was received because I was temporarily deputized to begin with. So oh, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm not all that interested in uh, picking up a badge anytime soon again. It just leads to more people hurt, it seems. I can understand that. I think, um, I think it's an awful tough job and an awful big burden to carry to be a lawman. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
a dangerous thing to be certain. But mm -hmm. I hope the doctor's all right. Yeah, I'm going to check on her really quickly. <laughs> she's actually resetting her router, but she's like walked into a different room so she can log off and then back on I'm without anything happening. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know, ma'am. <laughs> I didn't know they kept this door locked. That's cool. Um, all of the all of the uh, sheriff's offices throughout the crossing are locked because there's uh, weapon stores inside where you can get ammo and stuff for free because it's part of their job. Um, I didn't know that the medical one was locked as well. Josie was her name. I feel like that's going to be really easy to remember because I have a sister-in-law named Josie. Um, but at the same time, I should probably write it in my book because I'm definitely going to forget it. Somebody keeps trying that door. There um, we go. I think she might have stepped out for a moment. All good, all good. We can wait. It's, it's no worry. This was the only major thing I had on my schedule today. Oh, wonderful. It really feels like it's becoming summer. Yeah, sorry. I'm very interested to see how how this year shapes up, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Got anything kind of planned? Uh, just finding my way in the crossing, to be honest. I've only been here maybe three weeks, as I said. Mm -hmm. So uh, just getting to know the folk better and how to help and so forth. Of course. I give me one moment. I'm tempted. Let's see. Can I read it? No, I cannot. It would be just like... So Moody, when uh, when Dr. Gray met him, he was actually sitting outside the doctor's office with a book open. Sorry, I was just checking to see if uh, the nurse had heard anything from uh, the doctor. But, no. Quite all right. Quite all right. Oh, maybe that's that's <gasps> yeah, That okay. is her now. All right, doctor. Hmm. Uh, if you're, yes, yeah, I'm. I don't think I can hear you, unfortunately. Seems whatever she took uh, might have done too good of a job. <laughs> I don't know. Most likely she's having a team speak error. Yeah. It's quite all right. Like I said, I have uh, nothing else planned. I don't really have anything else planned either. I was just, uh, I'm just excited to be here and to be able to participate. Yes, I I admit I'm I'm interested. When she described being able to stay awake for the surgery, uh, that was something I have never heard of before. She's um actually a a very well decorated doctor. Um, actually she went to Columbia. Cool. 
Columbia. Uh, mm -hmm. it's University. I think in New York. That sounds right. I was I was just trying to remember where I'd heard that name before. Mm -hmm. I've heard of it before. I thought it was a country. <laughs> I I do believe it is a country as well, but uh, different different place. <laughs> mm -hmm. Andy, um, they're supposed to be having someone else assist on the surgery, but it doesn't look like they're here. Um, but the other assistant well, uh, all is right. a, uh, yeah, I think uh, he's from New York. He's um, he's a very interesting fellow. His name's Doctor. Oh, was Kroom? Was Kroom supposed to be on I'm, this I'm too? Oh, that's Middle Ditch. That would have been Just so cool. Kroom, Kroom. His name's Doctor Kroom. Uh, his name I is wish Doctor Kroom. And he is a doctor from New York, and I. That would have been so cool. Ever. Oh my gosh, that's Tommy Middleditch, and he's amazing. He's the reason I know of Wild. Oh, what? That is a, f a very interesting name. Very interesting. He's got never bring up Doctor Bog Bottom around him. That, that name actually sounds familiar for some reason. And he sounds like an insult. Oh, it does that. Yes, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm trying to remember. Uh, maybe my wife worked with with a Doctor Bog Bottom oh, at one don't, point. Don't mention don't mention that ever. Oh my God, he will. He'll oh, I, it. I'm fairly certain she said he was a horrible man, but I don't. Oh, okay. I don't right, fully maybe recall. Mention that. Maybe mention that part. <laughs> oh, I yeah, wish I wish Middle Ditch was feeling well because it would be so cool to RP with him. Like the chance to actually like. RP with an actual actor who does improv stuff for a living would be amazing. Dr. Bog Bottom and Kroom, that is. Yes. Well, I suppose we'll see if uh, this Dr. Kroom does does appear. Mm -hmm. At the very least, it would be interesting to meet him at some point. I mean, you'll know when you see him. He's a very um. I need to remember how to do a shout out. Uh, outspoken, you say? Uh, uh, like mm -hmm. opinionated and so forth. Yeah, like opinionated. Um, like, uh, hey, he's very intelligent um, and he lets people know. <laughs> I see. Mm -hmm. I see. We are gonna shout out middle twitch because i think the doctor's just uh taking a moment to kind of uh, get everything ready for the surgery and then she should be all right no no worries no worries at all is that the wrong that was the wrong one shout out not shout uh, so, what did you do before you had to make awesome? Oh, hang on one second. Sure, sure. Oh, it's middle ditch, not middle twitch. Happy <laughs> you, thank you. Endangered Finley. Oh, nope, can't do it yet. So, middle ditch. Sorry, I thought I heard Dr. Cream. It was not Dr. Cream. Oh, that's <laughs> quite alright, quite alright. So, I think middle ditch is actually not feeling well today, so he was gonna not do wild which is too bad because it would have been really cool to rp with him he is a very particular character and it's incredible for Krim. so um the only reason i was asking is because you were uh temporarily deputized at one point it seems like awfully um awfully important yeah well hopefully it goes well Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, it went through. That's cool. Uh, hello? 
Sorry, mate. Give me time. Yeah, I was wondering if, uh, Thank you for the follow, Sekro. Okay, I just wanted to come visit. Um, if you want to check in with our local team, probably that's the easiest way to do it because we don't get updates unless we get contacted through the tip line, essentially. Okay. Are you doing okay? That's a stupid question. Patience is a virtue I have found, especially when dealing with medical staff here in the crossing. Mm -hmm. Things are slow until they're not. <laughs> I have learned this. Exactly. You need to taste makes waste. Fortunately, all it is is just uh, twitch here in my right arm. So it's, you know, surgery can happen when it happens. It's not a super necessary thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I really hope I sound better. You sound this, amazing. I sound amazing. Uh, you sound amazing. You're you're just a gem. You're an absolute gem. You do sound much okay. better, ma'am. Ah, fantastic. This exact ah, beautiful uh, music to my fucking ears. All right. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Mr. Moody. Yes, ma'am. Let's have a check. I'm going to look my arse in. Okay, so we are doing, to confirm, we are doing a surgery today on your arm. Yes, ma'am, that is uh, correct. That this right one. Fantastic. That will be to, hopefully, to, we're going to start with a, um, this is, I know that we spoke about this, but I just need to do, just super confirm for consent. Just confirm. Yes, of course. Yes, um, just confirm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we are. You've consented. I have to remember to, to hit caps lock um, all the time. An experimental local anesthetic procedure, um, with the understanding that a general anesthetic may still be an option if the nerve block has no effect. Is this correct? Yes, ma'am. That is correct. Fantastic. All right. Would you like to know details about the procedure, or would you rather, as uh, would you uh, be more comfortable with um, just proceeding as planned? Details actually sound uh, interesting. If you want to uh, uh, lay out some of them, and that would be fascinating. Uh, I think. I certainly can. So what Mason, we're going to be doing first this. of all is we're going to be injecting the local anesthetic into the brachial plexus, which is the nerve that runs directly from your neck into your arm. Is that main nerve there? If that right, is right. successful, and your entire numb is arm, your entire arm is numbed rather. Um, we will then proceed. If it is not, then we will discuss a general anesthetic. Uh, we can right. then also we can also attempt a, a local anesthetic directly injected into the um, into the area. Um, <clears throat> and also, okay. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be attempting to remove the gunshot wound scar, and we're going to examine the tissue underneath. Uh, it's going to be exploratory at first. If there's scarring present on your nerve, which I'm suspecting, um, I will remove the scarring and I'm going to attempt to reattach the ends. Right. If right. that is unsuccessful or if I need to take away too much tissue, then I can take away a, a graft piece of tissue from your calf. Perfectly safe. It won't impact any function of your leg or your foot. There will just be a weird numb patch on the back of your leg. After yes, that, I then remember. we will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After that, we will also check for tendon damage, and it'll be a similar thing. Um, tendon grafting is easier, um, and that should be. Typically, we don't need to graft for that because typically we don't need to take that much tissue away, and obviously, you know, tendons are a bit more flexible. Sure, if a graft sure. is, if a graft is needed, again, we will take from your leg. After that, we will close you up. Um, you will have no feeling in your arm for the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, so your arm will be immobilized in a sling just to sure, keep you sure. nice and healthy and feeling good. And then in uh, 48 to 72 hours, we will meet up and discuss and we'll see what your uh, pain levels are and uh, what your range of movement is. We'll go from there. Sounds good to me. Fantastic. Okay, do you have any questions? Not at this time, ma'am. No, ma'am. 
Fantastic. All right. So I will get you to hop on the bench. Just give me a moment to stand here. That'd be this one here. Uh, that's all right. Yep. Just going to get my kit on. There we go. You can sit on this. Cool. Uh, and she washed her hands. You lie down. Um, if you want to sit up, that's fine. I'm, you know, not going to hurt you. I might just need to climb up on the bench too. We are going to Very small. Take off. Right, right. I can do that. <laughs> My mistake. No, that's okay. No, I understand. We stand up. We. We're just taking off the random things. Uh, that way she can actually work. No gun belt. Go away. No actual belt. Go away. Um, and we'll leave that there. And then we will... Okay, Josie, if you wouldn't mind just setting up, there are some pre-prepared surgery trees that I did last night. Um, Go ahead so if you just want to come down and just sit thing. in here. Um, we're also just going to get Mr. Moody on a uh, saline IV. Yeah. He just waves the arm around. <laughs> so my plan is to basically um, we'll let her do her thing. Uh, beakers of one beaker of iodine as well, and one beaker of saline. You said one beaker of saline on um, Abby's. What did you said? That's okay, so we're going to do one jar of saline for the IV, and then mm -hmm. we're going to get another separate beaker of iodine and saline, and I that is for... Okay. That's okay. Um, that's for sterilization. So, uh, Medic, Medic Josie was saying that there was going to be maybe a third doctor? Um, that's what I was hoping. He hasn't shown up, which uh, it is a shame because he is <laughs> actually odd. So he's technically a trainee, but um, he was my lecturer at university. Let's go, crew. Well, one of my lecturers. Yes, uh, Dr. Kroom, was it, she said? That's correct. That's not a name that I recognize, but she did mention another one that I did. I think my wife... At some point, had worked with somebody that he has mentioned, a Dr. Bogbottom. Uh, oh. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. no. My, my wife says the man is horrible, but... He's he's atrocious. <laughs> I love this. He, he's, <laughs> he has one of those mustaches. Um, call him a soup trainer. Oh, yes. I, I know the type. I don't, I don't know why folk bother. <laughs> exactly. I think I might um, have so one So do you have any allergies as well, Mr. Moody? I don't think so, but I just want to make sure. Uh, no, ma'am. Not that I'm aware of. Fantastic. Frail Coon, thank you for okay, the so follow. Okay, so we're not dealing with any big allergens right today. Um, you've had cocaine paste, is that correct? Or cocaine products? She said it was super... I'm sorry, say it again. Sorry, um, have strainer. you had cocaine or cocaine-based products before? Uh, yes, I think think so that may have been how they treated the gunshot wound to begin with i'm afraid i didn't pay right. attention at that time that's fair it's quite common um i will do just a small patch test just to make sure because cocaine is one of the ingredients than in the injection oh actually uh come to think of it uh dr margo i think asked me the same question before he did the stitches for the cougar bite so Ah, oh, perfect. Yes, I have had cocaine, and I do not believe I am allergic. Fantastic. Okay. Um, everything else is pretty. I've never met anybody who is allergic to benzocaine. Uh, some people are quite sensitive to morphine, which is another ingredient. I don't. I don't even think I've heard of it. I think I uh, should probably be fine. Uh, no, which fine. to have the IV in the arm? Ah, uh, yes, please, left arm. Now we get to do all the typing. Just 
gonna be a little prick. It's funny that the character model is just waving his right arm around. Alright. Let me just open up the valve here. Well, thank you. So, with these, uh, with this injection, basically, you... Um, you sort of, you don't need to weigh anybody. You can kind of eyeball it a lot of the time. But mm -hmm. it does depend on their body type and their build. So you're going to be using three parts benzocaine, one part liquid cocaine, and one part morphine is what's going into the injection. And there's a just a wee blue curtain there, just to, just to shield Mr. Moody away from any odd things. Okay. We might be seeing, <laughs> so... Do we need to uh, try it? Um, that's okay. I've already got it set up. Um, what I would love okay. for you to do though is just get a sponge and just sponge down uh, the sponge down the surgery site with some iodine. Mm -hmm. This is what I was excited right, Mr. for. Moody, uh, you're going to feel a slight pinch. All right, similar to the IV, I suppose. Uh, pretty much. Maybe a wee bit more intense for about a second or so. <laughs> and then you'll feel nothing. Yes, ma'am. I'm ready. This is gonna be a nice, nice thing. Even though a lot of it's just gonna be them standing there typing things, it would likely be very uh, painful. <laughs> she did a doctor lie. Ah. Okay. Hmm. Yep. 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 And all done. All done. Okay, I'm gonna just test and see if this is numb. You feel that? Sorry, feel feel what? Brilliant. <laughs> That's exactly what I like to hear. <laughs> okay. I am ready to get started. I'm just going to put on I had some gloves made in preparation for this. She puts on Pretty gloves. She put, she's she got the mask on already. Oh, does her... Wait, does her apron match her pants? That's cool. I actually have an outfit that I particularly made for... Uh, takes out a pair of thin gloves from wood... Oh, wood box. I you was do like, not believe how expensive thin wood gloves? you are. The gloves themselves are not that expensive, but that, I had to spend five thousand dollars to get my bloody hand cast. Good mm -hmm. lord! I had to go to Arkansas for it, which was half the torture. And I so, in order to get these into the crossing, it's actually cheaper for me to go to Arkansas, stay the night, and buy them, and then bring them back than it is to get shipped. Oh my god! Right, it's, it's a lot. I hope you okay. get to keep that on file or something, so they only got to do that five thousand dollar cost thing once. Oh yeah, of course. Yep. Yeah. So it's, this is uh, why I wanted to bronze, stay awake. So uh, <laughs> it's a difficult thing to throw out. They're huge. They're they're very heavy, but I mean, they're great gloves. Okay, so let's make the first incision. Do you want to hand me that scalpel? So particularly with this kind of surgery, everything needs to be sparkling clean. Mm -hmm. I had the interns, uh, you get the interns to come in before the surgery and basically just scrub everything down with iodine. That's why it smells so strong in here. Mm -hmm. 
So with a surgery like this, you're going to go slightly, maybe about an inch above the scar and an inch below. So we want to get as much tissue as possible. You can even go larger if you want. I wouldn't go anything larger than three inches on either side. Look at me here talking in inches like some American. Ugh. Centimeters. <laughs> Metric is a far, far and away better. What? What is a yard? Nobody's ever explained to me what a yard is. I don't, I don't even know what a yard is. I believe it's it supposed to be is. three feet, ma'am. Although that's a strange. A hey, then what's a foot? Uh, 12, 12 inches, I think. It's not the but right why? length for my foot, but. Exactly. <laughs> okay, then we're just going to make sort of a cross shape here. And then let's get this open. Also, Mr. Moody, if um, it does become too intense the way that I'm describing, please let me know and I will uh, keep my mouth shut or I will just turn to uh, small talk. You keep right on going, ma'am. Like I said, I was married to a nurse for a number of years. I'm used to hearing some of this. Fair enough. Um, also, again, if you do start feeling anything at all, please let me know immediately, even if it's just, you know, a tickle, a whisper. Of course, of course. Fantastic, because we do have other options. Okay, Fiona, I'm just going to get you to just open up that skin for me. Um, have you washed your hands? I've washed my hands. Brilliant. Okay, I'm just going to get you just to hold these open. Mm -hmm. And we are going to take a nice look. Take a nice look. Just like this. Perfect. We can actually spin it around so we can watch them if we want. Okay, I'm just going to have a good... Whoa, Dr. Gray's got a cool haircut. I'm just going to have a good squeeze. <laughs> what do you, how dare you? Are you still mad about the mustache, Mason? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do some this is where I'm in territory that I know nothing about I guess. Well, they're both here, but they've both gone quiet. Oh, that was the weirdest headache I've ever had. Okay. Oh, okay. She disconnected briefly. Okay, I'm just going to start looking for particularly muscle damage. So sometimes it does, uh, okay. So when, right, this when is you're actually going to be a lot easier than I thought. Those little things, it reveals it to everybody. So that she has no way of actually looking at the chat log unless she says something in it or I do. I suppose that's good news. Much, much better. Hey. Dr. Gray is Scottish. Oh, I, okay. she, I, I believe I'm she's also, uh, well, I don't know if that matters. So I think with this, we will just start uh, excising we'll the tissue strain, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Josie and then is still here. Let's, cool. um, particularly with muscle damage, like I said, so this is going to be slightly more elastic than, uh, maybe slightly more elastic than any, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Nerves are very uh, taut, I suppose. There's not a lot to give with nerves. Mm -hmm. Muscle damage, pretty easy to, to excise. Um, unfortunately, it is tougher because we so actually can't right get call. a muscle cool. craft. So some of it will be fun. Is conditions. So I'll be able to actually delete this here in a second. Actually, I can probably do it now. Um, we'll just remove it. All right, so make it just, a it just to have me a fresh scalpel. So basically, there. every time we cut into a different tissue, we're going to use a different scalpel because uh, there is going to be some slight blunting, and that's going to cause uh, some tears. It's a very, very small, insignificant amount, but it's just to make sure. Uh, to make it out of the other one? Uh, yes, please. So with surgeries like this, this isn't... Um, when you're doing any sort of internal surgery on organs and things, we don't touch anything that has already been used. So you'll often find me just dropping things in the ground. And then your job is to kick them away to somewhere safer. Yep, perfect. I suppose as long as it doesn't get stuck in your boot, that's fine. That is, <laughs> yep, that's that's why it's got to be very, wearing good shoes is half of the, half the struggle with a do being a doctor. You just got to find the, find some good, tough steel cap boots often. Smart steel cap. Okay, so with this guard muscle, muscle rather, um, we're just going to move to in circles here. How many folks in the medical? So we don't want to take away, particularly with muscle, because again, we can't use a graft. Actually, have medical. We're just going to remove only as much as we absolutely need to. Because obviously, I don't have any. Aside from brief stays in like the hospital, but with the way that Doctor Bonnie Gray talks, sometimes I wonder if Endangered Finley, which is the role player. Um, if they have uh, experience. What are we waiting on? And with this as well, if she's going to give me, uh, just have me a kidney dish there, it's just next year. Or just uh, hold it out for me. Oh, she's just giving it time. Okay. We can go first person. So this is what he's looking at. He's look He's actually sort of just reading that chart. Oh, here's what, can I? I don't, I guess I can't do. There's a way to turn on cinematic right, camera, but I guess I can't a, do it at the moment. If you can just drop some saline into a syringe and just start flushing that diet for me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Draws saline. Hey, 
It's so hard to type sometimes. Okay, we're looking beautiful so far. The last thing I really want to do is just tank the RP for them. I might do that eventually where it's like surgery is just not working, but this is a really old thing that is theoretically just a super easy fix. Okay, so you can see some slight scarring on this nerve here. Basically, this line here should be absolutely smooth. Close before. No. I just, I didn't expect him to look like. It's, I um, I think a lot of books and such have them be bright white just for uh you know for ease of use but nothing eh, nothing on the inside to be as bright white even your bones should we, hold on should we do a graft should not we that not we're do dying that? to bone mm, we're gonna not okay and hopefully yeah right down the middle so there's two schools of thought here that's fine. I prefer the second. The first one is to go in there to manually scrape the scar on away and keep the uh, keep the nerve intact. What I prefer to do is just take away the scarred part entirely and then we reconnect the nerve. So you can see that there's still a good amount of give here with the nerve. Somebody's coming in a door. Mm -hmm. So particularly with tissue like this, because the muscle obviously contracts and expands with being used, the nerve has to be uh, loose enough to has to be loose enough to allow for this to happen without the nerve being stretched, because uh, there's no real elasticity in this. Mm -hmm. uh, fresh scalpel, please. It's probably somebody just coming in to get bandages or something. Yeah, there goes the horse. Thank you. So half of the decision to have to go through this surgery was actually just... just drop these tweezers off that tree. There's no reticle in the game, so it makes it much harder to try and do shooting. Um, so I just ruled in character. Carrying a sidearm is just not practical because he can't necessarily hold it still his pinky and ring finger shook so that he wasn't able to hold it steady. Um, but then I started interacting with Dr. Margo in character as Moody and, and Margo checked it out and was like, Oh, that's something that our, one of our doctors could probably fix. Um, this is where it could go bad and I don't. So especially with this, you don't want to take away too much tissue. This guard is quite small here, though. Yeah, we're going to call it a success. Beauty. I'm just rolling for it. Okay, just because so this here is my favorite part. This is where um, I don't. I'm going to just get you to just keep this open for me. I don't actually know. So you says, can you bring in like... the microscope, please? There's a microscope? Who's Eustace? Oh, <laughs> he's an intern. <laughs> That is a fascinating machine. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Thank you. It is. A, this is a prototype. Um, um. So we're still deciding on a name. I'm trying to think of something that's an acronym that's a bit more catchy than um, surgical assistant microscope. But uh, I mean, Sam will do. I 
I don't okay, suppose there's any take off. sort of a way that I can see it at any point. I, it seems unlikely mm-hmm. considering I'm cut open and, and stuck here for the moment, but uh, still worth asking, I suppose. Of course. Unfortunately, we don't have cameras that are small enough to get uh, to get a view in here. <laughs> um, what I would, and because it's a, uh, so it's a double bivocal, double bivocal uh, viewer that needs sure, ad- sure. both my eyes. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to move this into position. Theater of the mind at its very best. Okay. Fresh gloves for me. Ah, uh, what did she say? I missed it. Oh, moves it to okay. It is tricky considering you're just. Okay. Uh, Josie, do you mind just telling me off there? That's an interesting chair. Just pat me down. Uh, it is <sighs> good. Thank you. And there is that tiny, tiny, tiny uh, scalpel there. Mm-hmm. So you need to grab that for me. Now, this is the part that requires a big, deep breath. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to bisect the nerve here. I'm going to actually cut the nerve in half lengthways. I wish I'd been quicker on it. I was going to breathe in deeply. <laughs> it would have been really funny. <laughs> So now she's got to, like, cut the nerve. Or close to it, I guess. Oh, lengthwise. Oh, she's, like, shaving it. I think it's funny that Dr. Gray's eyes are huge, so every time she like looks a certain direction, it's just like big eyes. Okay, all right. So you see where I'm gonna just gonna get you to. I'll step aside. Just gonna drop a scalpel on the floor. I'm gonna step aside, and I just want you to look through those mic- this mo- microscope here. Uh, you can see where there's a like- slight curve. She's saying something. Just at the end. You don't want that. But the nerve itself is intact. Teachable moment. Let's go. (laughs) Oh, I see. Sucker phone. Okay. (laughs) Oh, that's so strange seeing it. So close up. This is where we have fun. It's amazing, isn't it? Mm hmm. Is there anything else I should be looking for? Um, that is everything. I just wanted you to see basically what um 
basically what the point of this bloody giant thing is. Howdy. I got a lady, she fell from the roof. Okay. Uh, Josie, would you mind? Uh, I can get it up there. Thank know, you, appreciate it. Because she's basically done with the surgery at this point now. It's just sewing me back up, I think. Where you want her? Gently we go. It's a fortunate timing that he shows up back. now. The, uh, <laughs> oh, hey. Every time. I got her. She fell behind Better me. now than uh, 20 minutes ago, I suppose, as you're doing the cutting. That is true. Right <laughs> this is where medical could be fun. You just have to get creative in terms of, like, figuring out how you do things. I don't ever want to necessarily be a main doctor, but I think a medic could be fun. So, um, just, you know, lying here, over here and things. Mm -hmm. Slight curve is bad, but not terrible. No. So basically what I was looking to do was a nice straight line. But because nerves are so small, basically any movement of your arm. So I kind of just lent a little bit too far. So it's not a completely, not a completely straight cut, which I don't love, but that's not going to, it's not going to really impact your, um, your recovery. Sure, the most important sure. thing is joining up the nerves. Gotcha. So yes, Mason, those are other people somewhere. Ooh, I so got I'm three dollars for lying here in surgery. Here. <laughs> and essentially I'm just gonna use this to wrap up the the nerve. The two halves are gonna go over the top of the intact nerve. And then just gonna wrap that up like a week's miss present. doesn't need to hold me uh, because this will I'm also going to attach this to the muscle but it does just need to hold I just have to make her do it again if it doesn't hold I don't know I don't feel like doing that to her and Dr. Josie's back ah perfect timing Thanks for my hands. Sure. <laughs> I do I do enjoy that there is a sink in this room for the exact purpose that this is the doctor's operating room. And you can actually like wash your hands in it. So I'll, I'll just get you to come over because I do want you to see this bit. Mm -hmm. So I've essentially just gotten the cactus suture that was there. And mm -hmm. I've basically just gotten the two halves of the nerve that I bisected. And I've wrapped it around the intact nerve. If that makes any sense. So you got you use the packet to attach the two parts of the bisected nerve? That's correct. Um so the cat gut is mostly just to tie it off. I've not used the uh the needle at all. So you don't really need to with this kind of surgery. You never, ever, ever want to put a needle into the nerve. I mean, with a with a nerve like this, you're just going to cut it in half, basically. 
You thought the original damage was bad. <laughs> it's so interesting. And since nice. the you basically just... dissolves, it'll, it's an easy healing mm -hmm. process. Oh, exactly. Okay. So anything anything going on, anything inside the body has to be cat gut. Because mm -hmm. a silk, anything else doesn't absorb. Yes, I actually just read that today in the, uh, in the suturing uh, book in the library. Okay. There's a suture in All right, good. I'm glad they updated that because someone's been mm -hmm. seeing to suture arteries with silk and it's like, no, you can't do that. Hmm. No, it's too it's too thick and it doesn't reabsorb. You've got to suture it with cat. Anyway, I think it's probably just a misunderstanding. Maybe I read it wrong. Mm -hmm. They have a funny, like... So an now we're going to use the needle with the suture thread and we're just going to take that what part that I cut possible. and we're going to attach it to the muscle so that it's got something to kind of hang on to. Mm Nothing fancy, just put the needle through the tissue. Obviously, you don't want to go all the way through the tissue. Uh, maybe just a couple of muscle fibers there. And pull it through. And tie it off and let's see if I've got it right. Looks like I've gone too shallow. That's fine. I can go a wee bit deeper, and I can do. You can do a couple of, a uh, couple of sort of uh, loops like this. I prefer mm -hmm. to just do one, but you can do sort of two or three. Let's see. And I've just told the role player that I'm rolling for things. That way. She knows it's at least somewhat randomish. <laughs> so again, you're not going all the way through the muscle. That'd be insane. Mm -hmm. But I also don't want to be a jerk and like make her redo things multiple times. I'm glad you don't actually move around like this in surgery because she'd get nothing done on this guy. Okay, brilliant. Alright, we're just going to give it one more flush and we're going to see if I've missed anything and then we're going to close it up. You want me to flush it again? Yes, please. A wee bit of saline. <laughs> okay all right and that's already so i'm just going to close up the muscle here with just a the micro stitch and then i will get would you like to close up the skin with some silk
This thing has taken over an hour. I thought maybe it would, but I didn't realize it would be that long. That long. Very cool. So this is the same theory as any gunshot wound. Mm -hmm. You're basically just trying to rejoin as much of the fiber as possible. Slightly just go back and reinforce that first suture. Although I'm sure you've done this plenty of times. And at this point, we start to pretend that it's wearing off. Okay. Are you feeling. Did you just feel that? I felt a little bit of something, but it wouldn't. Felt a pinch? Painful, necessarily. Okay. All right, well, luckily we are just about finished, so. Mm hmm mm hmm All right, um, I'll get you to close up. I'm just gonna wheel this out of the way. So I was thinking of doing a um, interrupted uh, C stitch for this. Would you recommend micro stitching? Okay. Uh, for the skin, um, mm -hmm. interrupted C stitch would be perfect. Uh, don't need to micro stitch her, just, uh, yep. Oh, that's probably its own room, actually. So she can, like, walk into there and... I don't know. What is an interrupted C-stitch? We're going to have to Google that. Just let me know if you need it. Well, I, like I said, I'm feeling something, but it's not, not bad enough to... Uh, be worth mm -hmm. mentioning particularly it's not my first go round with uh, stitches no I can imagine we will put some cocaine paste on the area just as you when we uh, we salve you up that's just going to give you a wee bit of relief as well Sure, sure. Individual stitches are not connected. Interesting. Running versus interrupted sutures. Looks like it's it. all set. Continue. Beauty. All right. And then, Solid. yep, just make sure that you... Obviously, just make sure that you close off both lines of the uh, that incision that we made. There's a fascinating amount of knowledge that you actually have to know in terms of actually uh, medical. I'm going to start with this one and then I'll do the other one unless I mm -hmm. shouldn't. No, perfect. That's perfect. You're, you did a great job.
as you gain experience as well, the um, this is going to become far more instin instinctual. Instinctual? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, intuitive. Yeah, intuitive instinctual. Both of those work. That'll, that'll work. I, I'm a doctor, not an English major. Damn it, I'm a doctor, not an English professor. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. Oh. Ooh, it is good enough that she can hear me breathe. I actually That's cool. might in that case just um just gonna put some cocaine paste just sitting in the second line. <laughs> okay. <I'll wait>. <sighs> <laughs> That's funny. I just did that to test it, and it's super good. That's cool. And wait a second. Let's make sure that you can see the effect. That's awesome. I just want to give that a poke. Mm hmm Folks, the area is it numb? Um... <laughs> right, I'm not seeing any reactions. I'm gonna begin. Great. Okay, it's looking lovely, nice and neat. Everything's holding wet. It's like a cocaine paste was needed. Uh, apparently that the breath was incredibly clear. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> this is fun. It's actually like genuinely fun. I... So how long have you been in the program, Josie? It's um, I think you got certified like two weeks ago. Is that correct? Yesterday. yesterday yesterday you got certified yesterday oh amazing <laughs> so, what um, am i thinking of? that's that's uh, grand yeah i've been in the program i'd say about two or three weeks um so can i i'm still i still have uh, some stuff that i need to learn but i love doing stuff mm -hmm. like this cause it really helps me i can make out all the that's left perfect. letters it's, it's, it's grand I'm, I'm great i'm very happy to uh very happy you're here in my case. Well, she seems very caper capable. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't let anybody be certified who wasn't capable. <laughs> and for that, I think I we thank, thank you. Food. Absolutely. That looks fantastic. All right, let's get him self and bandaged, and then I can. Um, I'm going to get you started with some prescriptions. And then I'll you are on your merry way. Thank you. 
Um, what I'll get you to do as well as uh, just put a couple of drops of iodine on the 